It's time to talk basketball now. And for that, we're going to Southern California, where my man Joe McCann is with one of the nation's best players and his talented siblings. Great high school talent is easy to find anywhere in Southern California, whether you're by the beaches or up in the mountains. And here at Chino Hills High School, the Huskies have a special family of athletes who can really ball. Lonzo and Leangelo Ball have taken Chino Hills basketball to new heights. Last season, they led the Huskies to the state championship game. They're pretty competitive people, you know, when it comes to basketball, you know, they, they want to be the best. And uh, the thing that separates them compared to, you know, anybody else is their confidence. They feel like they can win any game. The confidence is, is attributed to their hard work. I, I've never seen anybody work as consistently nor as hard as they have. So that confidence is something that's innate in them. Last year as a junior, Lonzo had some of his best games during the Huskies' memorable playoff run. And that's what separates him from a lot of other great players. In our playoff run, he, he, he stepped up, especially against, you know, Torrey Pines last year, where he um, just took over in the fourth quarter, you know, 13 points or something like that in the, in the fourth alone. You know, that's the thing we want him to be known as. After the game, I told him that was a clutch performance. And you're right, that's, that's what great players do. That's what separates the great and the good. They're going to come through and make those clutch performances. Well, the bigger the stage, the better I, I feel I have to play. I have to play good every game in order for us to win. So I uh, just go out there and try to do my best, but I love the big stage. The six foot six senior guard can really fill up a stat sheet. Last season, he averaged 25 points, 11 rebounds, nine assists, five blocks, and five steals a game. He can play every position at the high school level, and his coach takes full advantage of his talents. He just does everything for us. I mean, if you look at his stat line, he, he's the one guy, you know, he's averaging pretty much a triple double, but he, you know, leads us in block shots, you know, like five blocks a game, five steals a game. And so, I, you know, my goal for him is to, you know, fill up, you know, all those categories, five or six different categories of, you know, getting double digits. And so that, that's his goal one day. Yeah, I love it. It's always a challenge and I love challenges and I can stay on the floor, play any position I want pretty much. Anything that he asked me to do, I try to do it and uh, hopefully we get the win at the end of the day. He runs the team, but at the same time, he, he knows how to share the ball. Like he can get everybody their shots in the right spot and stuff. He just runs the game good. Lonzo's been fortunate to grow up in a family of basketball players. Both of his parents played in high school, and younger brother Leangelo has always been there to push him. Last year as a sophomore, Leangelo averaged 20 points per game, establishing himself as a strong complement to Lonzo. Definitely just a pure score. He can post up, he can shoot the three, he can go off the dribble. So anytime you need to buck it, you can just get him the ball and get out the way. He's just a natural shooting guard right now. You know, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and you know, he's got to work on some other things, you know, to play a true, you know, shooting guard position. but. He's in every word, you know, shooting guard. You know, he, he was our leading scorer until he got injured. And so, you know, he's had highs of 53 and, you know, 40s and, you know, 30s. He was averaging close to 30 at one point. And so, you know, he's capable of hitting 10 threes. You know, now we have him in the post and we want to continue to refine his skills and, you know, become more of a slasher, playmaker. I try to put up points real fast, get my team going on the offensive end and just carry over the defense and pick it up on that end too. Both players have big goals down the road. Lonzo is leading the way as he's a top 10 national recruit committed to nearby UCLA. Uh, it's definitely going to be different, but I feel I should be ready for it and uh, I should have a great career. No, he fits beautifully into that. You know, he he's an, he's an LA you know guy, so he wants to go to the local school and do things there. Over the summer, Leangelo got the UCLA offer he had been hoping for. Now he's also committed to the Bruins. The Ball brothers, though, get to make one last run at a state championship this year. And the youngest brother, LaMelo, even joins the fun, as he's now a freshman in the Chino program. And he also has verbally committed to UCLA. Well, it's going to be great. Uh, we all know each other. We've been playing since we've been young. And actually, we have a cousin, too, so it'll be four of us. So, yeah, it's going to be a ball-heavy lineup. As great as last year was, the Ball brothers want to take it one step further to cement their legacy at Chino Hills. It's definitely great. Uh, by far, it's been the best year they ever had. And uh, it's actually a pretty new school, but uh, yeah, by far, these have been the best years since I've been here. And uh, it's great just to continue moving forward. It was great. We just, we just knew we had to come in here and make a change and just um, bring this school a lot of championships. That was our main focus. In Southern California, I'm Joe McCann.